Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mirkor. Thanks for stopping by. Today we have a very exciting unboxing. At least for me it's exciting because this is my very first Hobonichi order. So you guys have probably all seen this part many times, watched a billion videos because I know I have. Um, so you can see here, um, I actually didn't order that many things and I kind of regret it because now I want to make another order. That shipping is kind of expensive. But anyways, this first thing I bought, um, they were stamps. So I bought two sets, one for me and one as a gift for my best friend. Um, if she's watching this, sorry, I spoiled her gift. <laughs> So I've seen these a lot and I always wanted a set of them because I think they're so cute. It's just the stamps of the, of the Hobonichi um, closed and the Hobonichi open. This is just a clear cover on cover. We'll get to that in a little bit. This is actually a pencil board. It's not mine. It's an order that my friend had added on to mine, um, but I did want to look at it. So I'm sorry I'm opening it, but I'm being really careful. I wanted to see how the Hobonichi pencil boards are. Because I know some pencil boards are thicker and some are thinner, so here you can see I'm like trying to see the thickness of it. And I have a Jibun Techo pencil board, so I think it's really similar to that one. I do have pencil boards from Traveler's Notebook, and those are definitely a lot thicker than the Jibun Techo, the Jibun Techo, and the Hobonichi pencil board. So I, I really like the thinner ones just because it feels more flexible and I never really liked writing straight on like a hard surface like a desk like a paper right on top of a desk. I always like to write with other papers underneath it. I don't know. I just feel like I like the softness of it. This is the reason why I wanted to try the Hobonichi this year. <laughs> so when I saw this cover, I thought it was so cute. So I don't know if you guys know, but me and my husband, we really love to go camping. So this was so perfect for me. I really like all the camp stuff and on the back even has this cute like tree trunk with the Hobonichi on top and I just thought it it fit me perfectly and this was a good year to try the Hobonichi too because my best friend has one and I've seen hers and I just really wanted to like try it out so the bookmarks are really cute I like the details on it the month and a day And this one was an unexpected purchase, as is a lot of my stationary purchases. Um, 
So Hobonishi was having a meet again sale. So basically they brought back a lot of their older covers and resold them this year. So I was pleasantly surprised to see some of the older covers coming back and so I had to grab one. And this is the Mina Perhonen Tori Tohana cover. So if you didn't know, um, Mina Perhonen is actually a Japanese label that was founded over 20 years ago. It was by the designer Akira Minigawa and they are a fashion and um, textile brand and his goal was to produce clothing and textiles which don't lose their allure through the lapse of time. That's so I really really love this cover. The, it's a kind of like a corduroy type fabric and I love the inside how it's like muted green color it's a faux leather but i still think it's really really nice really good quality so i really really love these two covers i guess i really like the embroidered look because they both have stitching on them so i should have bought two of these cover on covers so i can cover each one I was saying to myself that I only did one because I'm only going to be in one at a time. Um, but we'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> um, so I was decided I wanted to try this Meter Pahonen cover first. I was saving the camp cover for next year. So I wanted to put the cover on cover to protect it. Um, I did notice that the Mina Perhonen cover does not have a back pocket earlier, you saw I was comparing the two. The Camp One has a back pocket and the clear cover and cover has uh, access, um, has an opening to access that back pocket. But this cover did not have a back pocket. I think for most of the Hobonichi covers that are um, fabric or a certain a different material than the original um, colored covers I don't think they're meant to actually be in a cover on cover which is funny because I feel like those are the ones that really need to be protected because um, you can see that it's actually a really tight fit but you can loosen it up the cover on cover plastic after some use. I know some people have even actually tried to heat up the plastic to make it expand a little bit like um, with a, a hair dryer or something like that. So the reason why I did not get any notebooks from Hobonichi directly which I probably should have um, was because I am a very impatient person. So I actually bought just this July, December Hobonichi Techo of Beck from a person on a buy sell trade Facebook group. So I just, of course, it's super late in the year to start a whole new year. So I just Put it out there and asked hey if anyone has the july to december one that they haven't used then i'll i'll buy it and I'll, i want to see if i like it so someone had reached out and i bought it for a really cheap price so as you saw earlier i had already started journaling about you know this order so i like it so far and so of course I found someone else that was selling their Hobonichi Techo for 2021 for a really good price on a, on the same group. So I decided to get it. I really didn't think that I was going to buy covers from Hobonichi directly, um, but I just ended up doing it. 
and no regrets i feel like the only regret is that i didn't buy more uh, but you know we all have those same thoughts so this was a really big brochure that i have still yet to read um, but it looks like it gives you a whole bunch of ideas on how to use the notebook so i'm really excited to look through it And you can see here, I am struggling to figure out how to fold it back, <laughs> but we got there. So I'm using this 2020 notebook in the camp cover that I plan on using starting in January. The Hobonichi Tacho actually gives you December of the previous year, so you can technically start using it early. Um, but because I have the other notebook, I'm probably just going to finish that one and start this one in January. I also really like these bookmarks because they're just like a thin ribbon kind. So it really fits nicely in your pages. I do love the look of the Mina Perhonen bookmarks. But after putting them in the notebook, I felt like it was not... They weren't fitting as nicely inside the notebook, so I figured I wasn't going to use them as bookmarks. So that is my small haul from Hobonichi. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have your 2021 setup ready to go because I know I don't. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. That's another video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!